Here's a really common question. Person asks, you know, I used EFT um, on a past memory, a bothersome memory, and I thought it was all done, but it came back, and it keeps coming back. Why? Does that mean EFT didn't work? Is there something wrong with me? Uh, you know, fill me in on that one, please. Well, sure. There are two possible answers to this, and both of them are included in more advanced training. Most people with, with EFT are very enthusiastic people. Love them to pieces. <laughs> um, but they've learned it from somebody else. They've learned it from somebody else's book. They've, they've maybe read a book of mine or seen a video or something like that. But the training isn't the in-depth training that I would like to see everyone have. So they apply EFT in a way that they understand. Great, great. When this memory comes back, chances are it doesn't really come back. It only seems to come back because what comes back is different than what you worked on. Let me give you an example. Let's suppose the bothersome memory in this case was a abusive event with a parent, uh, you know, during, during childhood. And you're working like it because that's, this abuse is happening and you are angry. And you, when you think about it, even now at your age, decades later, you are still angry about that, justifiably so, and all of that. You use EFT, one of his forms, unseen therapist, and doesn't seem to bother you. Anger's not there. But the next day, next week, some other time, here comes that memory, and oh, you know, it's got you again. So what happened? Why did it come back? Well, this, this brings up the idea, the, con, the important concept, I should even say all important concept, of aspects. The chances of what comes back are overwhelmingly a different aspect. Example, what we worked on in my previous hypothetical example about abuse by a parent being angry was the anger. That's an aspect of this specific event. Now, when it comes back, chances are it's not anger. It's, let us say, guilt. Oh, yes, I may have caused that. Yeah, I did something wrong. And, and, uh, but we didn't deal with that the first time around. We dealt with the anger. But now the guilt comes up. But because we are not used to aspects and what they are and how they show up and how they're integrated in with this whole memory, this specific event, because we're not used to that and don't make that distinction, it seems like the memory itself came back and wasn't resolved in the first place. In fact, what came back was a different aspect of it. Chances are, if you go back, in my example, and look at the test, redo the memory, and test the anger, ah, oh, it's not going to be there. It'll be guilt or some other emotion, some other aspect going on. So that's one reason why it may have come back. Another reason why it may have come back is because it may have been bouncing off of someone, something in the past, something unresolved in the past. Um, and that makes something in more current time even more exaggerated in its impact on you. I'll give you an example. Let's say you are upset about the behaviors of a, someone in the workplace, we'll call her Susie. Okay, Susie says something, does something, has some gestures, uh, have some behavior, undermines you or something like that, cheated, something. And this really sets you off. And so you use EFT tapping, you use unseen therapist, and it seems to be okay for now. But the next time you see Susie, boop, here it comes again. You try it again, next time you see Susie, here it comes again. <laughs> so what's going on, what's going on, what's going on? Okay, assuming you've taken care of the aspects involved, the likelihood of what's going on is this thing with Susie 
reminds you of an event way, way back in the past when you were, I don't know, six years old or something like that, a similar event with a parent, teacher, peer, neighbor, something like that, whose gestures, whose similar behavior you've never resolved and have always been angry about it, it's been hurtful in some fashion and so on. So Susie reminds you of that and she will continue to remind you of that. I don't care how much EFT you do until you resolve what is bouncing off of, which is the thing way back in the past. So to summarize that, if it keeps coming back, chances are what's coming back is not what you worked on. What's coming back is some other form, either something is bouncing off of or some other aspect.